Hello everyone, today we'll continue learning algorithms in Python and today we'll write bubble sort using Python. In the last episode we created a linked list and if you haven't seen my video about search algorithms or searching algorithms, you should see because I won't explain big O, what's an N and so on. Today I'll just write binary so or bubble sort and yeah, <laughs> I'll explain how it does it work. Okay, so I'll create function define called bubble sort and I should pass one argument instead of two, it's just our array which will be sorted. So um, how bub bubble sort works? First of all I need to create first loop for i in range when from array we go throughout every element of our array and then another loop for j in range when from our array and again we go throughout of all of elements of our array two times not two times but n times so um, what I can do for example I will create a counter equals zero and every time our j is called so our for um, j in range hoop is called I will add to counter one and once our bubble sort is done I will return my counter just to show it's not a bubble sort and let's print and I'll pass one let's print a bubble sort and I should pass in array so one two three and let's run our code mm. oh it says hello because not linked list but search algorithms I want oh, and no I want sorting algorithms. So, as you can see, it says 9. Why? Because we ran through all of our three elements 3 by 3 times. So, it's 3 in square. If I will add one element, so 1, 2, 3, 4, it will say 16. Again, bubble sort runs through every element of our array array length in square times and that's easy so if I run uh, bubble sort for five elements I receive 25 because 5 in square is 25 so bubble sort length or speed is O n in square so I write bubble sort it's not O multiplied by 2 it's O n in square and from my point of view, bubble sort is a really slow algorithm of sorting because imagine that you have one million elements in your array and you need to run one million multiplied by one million and that's very big number. Okay, so but uh, for very small arrays and for learning bubble sort is very, very, very good algorithm. So bubble sort for i in range uh, and for j in range when array and what I need to do basic if if array from i more than array from j um, so if array from i more than array from j what i do uh, first of all i will create a method which is used in every language and then i will show how it can be done in python so tmp equals array i array i equals array j and array j equals tmp and that's all and then we will return our array and now let's write print bubble sort and i can pass in array for example um, minus five six one four zero and it should give our us third array sorted array so 6, 4, oh, uh, I, <laughs> I should change it to be array i less than array j because uh, we sorted in descending order. Okay, and I want to sort in ascending order. So, as you can see, minus 5, 0, 1, 4, 6. And everything works fine. What we do, we just simply swap every value if it's bigger than 
mm, value. So if array i is bigger than array j, we swap them. And that's all. And tmp is created because if I will remove tmp, what will happen? tmp, oh, yes, and I'll call array i. What will happen? As you can see, every element is um, changed to 6. Why? Because array i initial value was mm, vanished out because we assign array i as array j and there is no point in assigning array j as array i because array j was already assigned as a value of array i. So in because of that we created tmp variable just not to uh, vanish initial value and as you can see here everything works fine. Again if you want to sort your array in reverse order or in the signing order you can write here array i more than array j and as you can see 6 4 1 0 minus 5 descending order another way to do it is providing for example mm, reversed key and reversed is equals to false so what i will do here if reversed so if our reversed key ah yeah and reversed is a shadow built-in name of function reversed so reversed um, let's write reversed order if reversed order what we'll do here um, if reversed order then mm, I can do something like this for example just put here all of my code so if reversed I'll print that else else I'll do that but I'll change it to be array i uh, less than array j and as you can see here for example if I don't provide any argument uh, after my list argument minus 5 0 1 4 6 in ascending order but if I'll write true as you can see here 6 4 1 min 0 minus 5 so we can change um, order of our elements in our array but there is another method of doing it so I will remove else from here and um, ins I will uh, change everything to be as we done it before so something like this like this if we are soda and let's have a look what I will do I will create operation equals to empty string and if our order is reversed what I will do operation equals to array i less than array j and when uh, instead of our if what I will do if um, execute operation so we can write something like this and let's run so if uh, reverse order equals true let's run oh and as you can see it sorts array I um, forgot that exec executes a line of code and eval evaluates the line of code and we should use eval to get the value here so as you can see when our order is true so when we want our order to be reversed what I do minus 5 0 1 4 6 so I simply um, evaluate array array a mm, less than array from j and in our operation initial I can write array i more than array from j and if I remove through here what you can see normal descending order but there is more methods of doing it in Python but I wanted to introduce evaluate function and it works very 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 well if you watch what it does <laughs> and there is another method of simplifying bubble sort in Python so instead of creating variable tmp I'll remove it and I'll remove uh, everything in my if so array i comma array j 
equals array j, comma, array i. So, as you can see, in the first left operand of my expression, array i then goes array j. In the right operand, array j then array i, array from i. And what Python does here? Python, before executing uh, left operands or left uh, part of my ex expression, he creates tuple here using array j and array i. And he saves, so Python saves every value until it's uh, changed. And when our array i um, and array j, so when left part of our expression is executed, our Python gets array j and array i from tuple, not from array. And that's why our values won't be vanished. So let's write, let's run our searching algorithm and six, four, my, as you can see, everything works fine. And I can provide, for example, true to be reversed. Again, everything works fine. Okay, and that's bubble sort in Python. Evaluate function is a function which simply gets the result of your string of code. So I can open up my Python console, Python console, and uh, let's, for example, write evaluate one plus two minus three, and it says zero. So evaluate simply executes the line of code, and uh, in our case, it's array. Uh, less or array more than another element of array. Okay, and that's all. So that's bubble sort in Python. You can watch my, or you can find my code posted on GitHub in the description. But for now, that's all. Good luck.